welcome to the Popish Spot. I'm Mike with the June 2024 Catholic T-Shirt Club unboxing video. So here we a go. Don't need no trusty knife now. Uh, I know the unbagging is not as dramatic, but you know, you can't argue with the savings. Ah, Servium, I will serve. Now war arose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. The greatest question any of us will ever confront is, who's in charge? Who is in charge of your life? Is it you? Or is there a higher power? Now, so much of the problems we have in the world is because people refuse to bow to even the self-evident higher power. That is the diabolical mistake. That's what Satan did. God is superior to him in every way. He had no... <laughs> I mean, it's just stupid. He had no he had no chance. And yet, such was his pride that he rebelled. Don't be like Satan. Servium. St. Michael, pray for us. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. <sighs> Look at this. Gorgeous. Now, of course, as someone named Michael, as someone who has St. Michael the Archangel as his confirmation saint, <sighs> I am ashamed to admit that I did not know the St. Michael... Well, I'm not ashamed to admit, but I, I'm embarrassed? Embarrassed. There you go. I admit, with some embarrassment, I did not know the St. Michael prayer until the summer of scandal, the summer of 2018, when the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report on Clerical Sexual Abuse came out and the revel revel revelations about uh, Mr. Theodore McCarrick, then a cardinal of the church, a man with a long and sad and well-known history of sexual abuse, who nevertheless continued to rise in the hierarchy of the church because corruption. And in the summer 2018, many churches started praying the St. Michael prayer after the end of Mass. Now, it's important to note, the St. Michael prayer was composed by Pope Leo XIII um, around the turn of the 20th century, you know, the 19th century becoming the 20th. So it's not an ancient prayer, though devotion to Michael, the guardian of Israel, is ancient in the church. And the St. Michael prayer became one of the Leonine prayers, which were prayed at the end of Mass. This was done away with after the reforms of the Council, so as to reemphasize the character of the Mass. The name of the Mass comes from the Latin, Ite Misa Est, she is sent. You know, this is when the deacon at the end of Mass, or if you don't have a deacon, the priest, says, go and announce the gospel of the Lord, or go and glorify the Lord by your life, or go. But just go. The important thing at the end of Mass is to go. Every single one of us is sent on mission. So the St. Michael prayer was, and many other prayers were done away with, so as to not interfere with the go. So now, the prayer is said in many places, but always after Mass is over. And we should still go under the protection of St. Michael, all of us choosing to serve God. Now, the reason why St. Michael is such a great antithesis of the devil is Michael's name. Who is like God? It's a rhetorical question. The answer is, duh, no one. He had every, he had the same freedom that Satan did to refuse to serve, to say non-servium. But we venerate Michael, not worship, not even the hyperdulia that we give to mom, but we venerate Michael because he, while Satan said non-servium, Michael said, Servium, I will serve. In the words of our blessed Savior, not my will, but yours be done. And that is how each of us must, you know, when, we're, when we go from the Mass, that is the attitude with which each of us must go, under the protection, under the aegis of St. Michael the Archangel. So, choose this day who you will serve. As for me and my house, you know, scrapper over here, we will serve the Lord.
Give this episode a like, subscribe to our channel, ring the church bell to be notified the next time the plot is uploaded. Comment below with whatever you wish. <laughs> How do you serve the Lord? Who is your confirmation saint? These are great questions. And prayerfully consider, what is the best use of your money? You're going to be a billboard for something. Why not for God? But it is up to you to decide whether or not you can afford reasonably, you know, in accord with your state of life, to subscribe to the Catholic T-Shirt Club. But until next time, remember, preach the gospel at all times. Use shirts when necessary. And until next time, remember to live your faith, love your faith, share that love.